Oh, wait, let me... Did... Oh, yeah, I need to fuck into the... I do it every time. I need to plug into... First audio place. So, let me... Uh, looks like it's working otherwise. Uh, oh, let me check the audio balance. Quick. Blark, blark, blark. Oh, speaking of audio balance, I need to do this. There. That seems okay. It was kind of quiet. Although that's that's a quiet scene. Think this up a little bit. Maybe. Yeah. On the other hand, it's that's okay. That's okay. I think it's funny. I'm going to post it. If someone doesn't like it. I found the gun I wanted to make this. And it's this sniper and not the other sniper. I usually main like a, a more niche thing, so pick the basic sniper. But it's the one that feels good. I like the quick charging of the fast sniper, but the short range was terrible. And I I don't need to share, it should be an audio thing. Is that not working? Hold on. Oh, that's not good. Give me a sec. That's weird. You should be. I'm transmitting to you. Alright, do you have me muted? Um... I don't know, I'm con- Oh, well, yeah. That lit. Hi, Gaijin. I mean, it's in the here, so you're hearing the muted music. Yeah, I'm, I'm only kind of getting it. That's weird. It'll be fine. Okay. There's one thing that it might be, but I think I actually remembered to change that. Like, the detection thing. Yeah, no, that's off, so... It should just be continuously transmitting everything. Just do this, and then this, in case that helps something. I 
this dude back to the queue. Still not very good with it, but I'm getting better. In general, I want to avoid aiming with the stick at the same time I'm aiming with the motion controls. I think? When you're sniping? I don't know if that's true. Maybe that's actually the wrong thing. And I'm bad. Entirely possible. Oops, oh god, it's gonna be bad. What bomb is this? I actually don't remember what it said. Oh, it's flat zones. I need to get the middle area. And then hold it. It's king of the hill. Don't go anywhere, sir. It's ours. Hi, Tuttle! I'm still really bad at aiming down. Oh dear. Oh! Pick okay. right below me, I can't hit that. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, okay. I'll take you anyway. I don't play this version. No, this is the, the competitive mode. I just played Turf War and leave it at that. <sighs> it's probably my favorite of the modes, although it'd be fair because my old man was just ridiculously good at it. I don't know. I think the last sniper I was using could have done that in two hits. You can kill people while recharging that bomb. They just have a lot of armor. I think I actually broke the armor, but didn't get that. I should have just left. Oh, no. I should have just left. I have plenty of paint. Yeah, I just this mode is just it's like a little mini turf war thing, basically. And it's just I enjoy it. It's like clam blitz, it's like I don't know. You're collecting things? And that's fine, I guess. Worth it. <laughs> it's always worth to hit someone. When you're... Everybody loves it. Even the person who's spawning, they're like, yeah, that's fair. You shouldn't have spawned there. Reasonable. Twitch's uh, phone app could certainly use some accessibility options. Hmm. 
It could use a lot of options. Like, any options. Yeah, any options would be great, but, like, especially, like, text size. Mm-hmm. Oh, or chat mode being, uh, landscape, uh, landscape? Yeah, no, they don't, like, want you to have chat popped out, I feel like. I think you can set it so that there's only chat and no... That's what I'm doing. Yeah, but, like, it's... But it's, it's only, uh, portrait, and... Yeah, right, that's why I don't do it. I mean, oh, it. it'll be about the same size as what you've got there, it just won't have your... won't have the video running. Mm-hmm. It's, it's the same otherwise. Right, and it's just like, oh, okay. Uh. Yeah, I, I could install an IRC client on my phone. That's true. Yeah, why didn't you think of that? Um, I actually decided to use this so that I can see if there's a problem with my stream, because there's a period of time where I was just arbitrarily having my stream cut out. So now oh. I know when that happens. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, so... Otherwise, I honestly might have kept looking for a better chat option. <laughs> At some point, I'll go well, back to having a second monitor. Hard to do. <laughs> so you maintain zone control. Mm-hmm. I normally have two monitors, Tuttle. Yeah, it's me. I just stopped at some point because I got a new monitor and my TV I was using as a second monitor didn't fit on my desk. And I just went like, I don't know, I'll get about another one. And then I just kind of didn't. And it was fine? Like, it's a bit of a pain, but it's actually not that bad because I alt-tab constantly anyway, so... My primary monitor is really big. And my secondary monitor is ah. Oh! Grenade. <laughs> Just saying. See, your primary monitors are nice. Okay? It's one of those lightly curved ones. It's yeah. Like, the look at this. It's very, very long. I mean, it is. The only problem is that a lot of stuff is not. Like, the aspect ratio for a lot of stuff isn't compatible. <laughs> mm hmm That makes sense. So, like, I get weird borders sometimes, or in funnier circumstances, I get to see the outside of a of an area that I'm not supposed to see in a game. Ooh, I love that. Like in, um, like when, when, I, was, when I was playing Six. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we would see, like, three rows out on the uh, grid. And you could tell we weren't supposed to. Mm -hmm, yeah, because sometimes there'd be like an NPC standing there waiting for the cutscene to trigger. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was aiming for that person. That was intentional. For sure. That was my plan. Ah, I can go on this, if we're really forward. I didn't think about it. I don't like this, though. Ugh, that makes sense. I guess that's why you don't necessarily go on that wall, because I can't go to any ink in any direction other than falling totally off onto their side. That's not good. I rescind my idea. I'll take that. <laughs> yeah, no, the experience did have travel time in that game, I do remember that. It was like a physical object that traveled to you. I guess. It's 
That's why I like this one over the really slow chargey one. So I don't have to be afraid of stuff like that. Oh, missiles. I'll just stay here. Oh, damn it! Yeah, no, you could leave the level before the experience did everything. It was just like, well, you, you messed up. You shouldn't have done that. Oh, dear. Well. That's not a great thing to happen. Me and my teammates dying there. It was a very bad time to die. Why are you here? From where spawn? Ow! What's going on? Uh, yeah. Oh. Oh. They, they're because they're jerks. Mm hmm. And they cheat. I mean, look at that. If that's not cheating, I don't know what is. Yeah, jeez. Like, jeez, Nintendo, I know your online service is bad, but. Could you at least ban the obvious cheaters? Chip, right? Chip. Chip. I remember what I was going to say about extra wide monitors. Um, it's Chip. Chip. The original PC port of Devil May Cry 3 just has that as a feature. Because um, it was made for square CRTs. <laughs> and uh, so just every cutscene has stuff off the side. Like weird... Just, like all sorts of weird effects that just sort of appear in. Or like, oh, that model's not... It doesn't quite do anything when it walks off screen anymore. Is that the first one, or is it HD? Collection? That was the first one. The HD collection is an actual good port. No, the first Devil May Cry 3 PC port is... It's one of those things where it's like, I don't understand how this was made. Like, it was literally two Capcom guys who did it in secret, and like somehow got it past. Because it was like... 2007 or something, or 6. Like, it was... It was pretty close to when the game came out. Um, and originally, honestly. It might have even been earlier. Um... We got stuff and they're going to put a PC port out! I mean, basically, yeah. It, 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 like, it barely functions. Terrifying! Like, a bunch of the, like, particle effects and stuff are weird. You can see orbs from anywhere in the level. From, like, anywhere, like, you can sort of just see them far off when you're not supposed to, because some things render in soon and some things don't, and, like... There's nothing scarier to a Japanese game than PC. <laughs> Especially then. Like, I don't understand how it's made at all, so I'm sort of appreciative it existed, but, like... Yeah, no, a bunch of the music doesn't loop. There's a couple places that didn't get music assigned to them correctly, so they just sort of play, like, the moody... Some, like, random bit of moody atmospheric music. Um, there's a bunch of songs that don't loop properly, so huge parts of them are just cut off and never play, even though they're in the game files. Which is weird, because, like, it doesn't have dynamic music. It just, like, didn't... Oh, there we go. Sorry, I had to focus on that guy. Ugh, I hate those things! Even though I think I'm supposed to counter jetpacks. Oh. Why did my channel just... Why did chat get cleared by a moderator? Hi, oh. Maid! Hi, Maid! Did... Was there a bot post in there that I didn't see? Because <laughs> you took no. over too fast? Maid said sorry, I ruined chat bad. Oh, okay. That's but okay, I it was just turtle talking. Hi, Maid! Hi, Maid! I think they made it better. Probably. <laughs> I, was, I just looked over and saw, like, sub is in one month follower mode. And I was like, uh huh, wait, what? Oh, okay. <laughs> I get it. Oh, you I tried to hit a button. That was your mistake. Hit button on Twitch? That's not allowed. Oh, good. Innovation. <laughs> <laughs> Tuttle said, excuse me, but more in time for your <laughs> comment than mine. So, uh, it was to you. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, anyways, uh, the Devil May Cry 3 port just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah! What do you mean by that? 
I meant, uh, mostly you cleared turtle stuff, because that's who'd been talking to us. That's right. And that's why... So it's and fine. therefore... I should've waited to use this a second later. Uh, I'm starting to learn how to use it, and it's really just find a teammate that looks like they're about to do something. Yeah, no, they just stop. They suck. I hate it. That's okay, mate. It was just Tuttle, like Frank said. Yeah, no, you know what? Turtle's a really good point. I am being really unfair. I'm sorry, Gadget. You also did type some, and that was. That also is true. We did lose. Some, we did lose something valuable after all. Can't see a thing. Well, okay, someone else did it for me. Hooray! I can't aim that far. Oh, I missed. But you weren't playing, were you? Let's stop that. Yeah, no. We're... Uh... Yeah. Yeah. Um, worst super special thingy in the game. I hate it. I refuse to use any weapon that has the vacuum thing. I hate it. I let that happen. <laughs> I'll want a team with DS Furry, I see. <laughs> DS Furry is the only is only furry when playing Nintendo DS. Oh, oops. I thought we were lost already. Okay. <laughs> I thought I reached out to eat food and I was like, oh wait shit, we're still playing. I'm sorry about the food. No, I am. Yes I am. Hmm? Yes I am. I should know it, yummy. Oh. Dark Souls on the DS, that's right. I would usually be here by now. Well then. She's gonna miss Sean. That's her fault. Yes, I would, maid. Because genuinely, it's not actually playable and now that and now that all of the so the the sonic fans have stopped like inflating everything most people are coming around to the game and going wait what the hell this is barely if play playable at all so no you should I would I would hold against you because I wouldn't want you to get your nephew your nephew a bad game yeah why did, does your nephew already there is an important distinction here and it doesn't change my answer which is going to be yes I'd hold it against you but um, it is something I would like to know, which is, d does your nephew already want Sonic Frontiers and is asking for it, or would you be offering this to them and they haven't asked for it? Because that second one is, like, reprehensible. No, you... it says, of course I wouldn't get it if he didn't ask. Okay, I don't know. I didn't, you previously discussed that they're just into Minecraft. You didn't say they had a Sonic thing. But I guess it's a, it's an IP that is popular, so... It stands to reason dumb baby children love dumb baby things that have dumb baby advertising down their dumb baby throats. I do hate dumb babies. Ah, stay up, phone. There you go. Oh! Hey, Chai. Just in time. I literally said Chai would usually be here by now. Oh, well. Uh, I would hold it against you, mate, because it do I don't... I, uh, don't believe in giving money to... Sonic. Team. Did I win Sonic Heroes? I think I won Sonic Heroes. I don't think I bought it. It was either I either won it or was given it as a gift. Won in a Smash. I don't want to say like tournament. Well, it was a tournament. <laughs> but it's just like a little. <laughs> I was gifted Sonic Heroes without asking for it as a kid, and I didn't turn out fine. <laughs> Um, so yeah, off stream, I unlock these two bonus levels, so I think I'll start with them, and then we'll go on to that. Uh, cause I, 
Most of us are just short and fun. Buy a mine Minecraft skins or something. I love that. Buy him in Finniminer. <laughs> like, this is the real shit, kid. You don't know. You don't know. Oh, this is one of the ones where I can choose a character. Because they were trying to convince him the Wii was new? Hey, maybe they shouldn't lie to your... Maybe they shouldn't lie to their kid. <laughs> Especially about something commercial. That's really dumb. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Oh, I upgraded, also off, off stream, I upgraded this, uh, the pistols. And... I think it's a big part of why I stopped talking to my parents, Jai. Oh, there's a time limit, so I can't really show it up here. Venom's coming. What am I doing? Just fighting? Probably just fighting versus in this one. Like, if it's a silly little thing, like, oh yeah, you, uh... It's like a silly little passing thing that's very obviously a joke, maybe. But, like, I don't know. There's only so many steps you have to take from, no, the Nintendo Wii is new in 2019, to, uh, getting to... Yeah, by the way, there goes that jaguar, and it's fly- and the, um... There goes that jaguar flying in the sky, and you know, blood too. I'm not allowed to be on the fence. Alright, I just find it- I find it easy to bring Dogtooth into most conversations. <laughs> Oh, my gosh, I need to get rest. Come on. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, time limit. Right. Oops. I guess I probably couldn't have gone very far. I guess I'll show off the moves I got uh, when I'm not on a time limit. I knew it. I knew Chai was video, ga video games. Wow. I've always suspected. We've been talking about how you might be video games. And I was like, I don't know. And I was Maybe? like, I do know. And I was like, I just, I'm, like, I see what you're saying, I'm not against it, it's just like, wow, really? But you were right. Yeah, no, I insisted that you were Video Games, not a gamer. Video Games. No, I've been insisting you're a gamer for a long time. That's, that's a known opinion of mine. I don't quite know what I'm hitting. Okay, it's fine. I got back within, so whatever hit me didn't count. Oh, you fire fast. Jesus, they're so fast. This is the upgraded one of these. They're rude. Which I kind of like. It's nice that there's a mid-tier enemy that's a real threat to Bale. Like you're good at cooking or something. Mm, I wouldn't go that far. Sorry, I didn't mean to say it on stream. I mean, um, Twitch stream, well, just it's a Twitch stream. We don't usually say that. We're typically very non supportive. Hmm. <laughs> no way, I was framed. Sorry, Chai. You're a gamer. Nate says. It's one of the reasons people like modding for Bayo 2 more than Bayo 1. It has a fuller roster of mid to high tier enemies. <laughs> that is a joke about Doom. I get it, <laughs> and I appreciate it. I knew it must be some variety of joke. <laughs> some variety of joke! <laughs> I knew it was probably some. That's why I read it.
Uh, I don't know if there's a tell for that move. I guess it doesn't do damage, but it does seem to break my combos. So I'll probably need to learn at some point. Oh, I, got, I hit the fire trail. I ran into it, I guess. Ah, shit. Dance, dance! Yay! Made for you. I made something akin to curry using curry powder. And then, like, mm. potato, carrots, chicken, <laughs> and bell pepper. Mm-hmm. And if I'm going to wait, I used curry powder and chicken box. stock. The it's end. Nice also made extremely good eye on the Virtua Fighter. Um, that's one of the new moves I got. Which is the Tetsuzanka. Which, because this game is all Sega, or originally was... Um, yeah. Bayonetta used to have that move herself. She doesn't have it now in her moveset. But now, Madame Butterfly does. Um. What other moves did I get? I got this move, which is the bullet, the, like, aim in all 360 directions from Bayo 1 that they didn't really bring back. Because it wasn't very good, but now it's really good because it shoots really big bullets for a moment. Oh, oh Tuttle, I put it on the... Tuttle, I, I gave it to I gave you some, but hmm. it was in the top part of the chat. <laughs> oh no! So it's sorry, it's gone. Oh no! But yeah, it's a Tetsuzanka from uh, it's a Kira's signature move from Virtua Fighter. Um, what other moves did I buy? I bought this move. Oh no, I showed that. I mean, I bought this move, which seems to be the ultimate move for the pistols. That's ah, really good. How about this move, which is just sort of big swingy? Um, big swing. Oh yeah, I can hold the shot button to charge it up into a laser beam, which is pretty good. It doesn't charge while you're doing other actions, unfortunately, so it's not that good. Oh yeah, I got heal slide, which seems really similar to just wait doing this, but which you already have. But hey, it's there. Uh, oh breast, yeah, this move. Chicken breast. Sorry. <laughs> you talk. It's about food. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I, I saw the question immediately <clears throat> answered. Mm. And I was like, oh, he's talking. What am I doing? <laughs> he's talking about his favorite thing. Video game mechanics. Yeah. Sorry. It's fine. Mm. Accept it. Um, I got this move. Which used to be Witch Stomp, which would instantly summon... <clears throat> A kick, kind of like how you can instantly summon a punch, but now that you have a billion ways to summon a kick, it's a little slower but a bit more powerful, and you can charge it. To do this. Do 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 <laughs> Which I I love this move so much. You just sort of dance on him. Oh, it's great. Uh, and I got a bunch of moves for Madame Butterfly. Which Oh yeah, she's got this move. It's a nice big launcher, so she can actually do her air moves now. Uh, she has spinning bird kick, which is literally spinning bird kick. Uh, she's got... Oh, I don't have enough magic to show it off. But she's got the... Uh, Shinku Hadoken. Except it's a big heart. Um, it turns out that a lot of the moves you buy for her are just Street Fighter references. Really specifically. The Shinku Hadoken has the charge mechanic, too. Because it should. No, it's, then it's not the Shinku, it's the one from Third Strike. Which isn't, it's, it's... Something else. The chargeable one from Third Strike. Whatever that's called. I've forgotten. 
No, the, the super... Ryu has a super from Third Strike. That is a chargeable super Hadouken. You can either shoot it out normal or you can charge it. I think it has a different name. I've forgotten it. But at full charge, it dizzies. I know it's... By the way, charge. Might be Metsu Hadouken. Oh, is this just a remix of the boss fight? Wait, no, there's like platforms. Hmm, what's this one like? Oh, well, it's this boss fight. Oh, yeah, you do have that move, don't you? Here, I thought that was your vulnerable bit, but it's not. gimmick. I... The platform's continuously go- oh shit. The platform is continuously going down. This frog is heavy. So I need to swap between them periodically. By going on the platforms. That's a- that's interesting. Oh god, I went right to where the feet are. I think it's time to leave this arena. Oh, oh, those are so temporary. I didn't realize they'd go away that quick. That's Wobbly why I fell off before. That's one hard. Stop 
Can I parry this? I don't know what to do about that! That's rude! Oh, I got her dizzy because the kiss hit her from my good friend. I know what I was supposed to do about her doing the acid rain singing when I switched platforms. I felt like the answer was nothing. Oh, was that an accessory? I think you've had enough for now. Hmm. 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 I said good. Are you good in the game? No. <laughs> Sorry, I mean, uh, it was bad. No, that's not good either. It's supposed to be like a... It is good. Okay, it's on level. Oops. Sorry, me. I felt... Is Witch Stomp an auto-target move? It is? Ooh, intro. It is an auto-target move, but it stays where it is. So if they move, then it's... Seven years for this?! <laughs> if they move out of the stomping, then they don't get hit anymore. So you have to be careful on when and where, and against whom you use it. Stealth cap. It's... No, 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 Gagent. More elevator action. Mm-hmm. He must be up ahead. I just hope he's still breathing. Yeah, we're here to rescue a scientist guy, remember? Yeah. This should take care of security. But this is a star in the gates. <laughs> Thanks, Turtle. I wish Discord let you do that. Oh. Oh, okay. Just like right away, we're getting a weird combat section? getting close. What's the blue one? Oh, I wanted the blue one. But it's good to get stuff because they sometimes have treasure. Get points. Oh, uh, this button. I... Okay, it's actually pretty hard to open these boxes. <laughs> There's probably a better way. Oh, can I just jump through them? 
Oh, wait, I could have stealth killed that guy? Why? This is the next scene. I guess so. Oh, what? Oh, I thought that was like a pickup, not a... Oh, they're holding on to the... Look how fast you're going down. I see. You'll be here until you get to the bottom floor. Excuse me. You know, floor number basement 330. I don't mean to keep getting the shotgun. Probably not the right choice. Okay, I have to land first. And I can... There we go. Hamburg! Hamburg! Hi, wrong button! I just dodged that. Can I not fire straight up? I think I can't. Because that's not a very old arcade game thing to do, to fire straight up. Oh no, I can't. Okay. Oh boy. This is tough. God, seven years for this bullshit? Did I have to play? I hate this game. Wow, this game sucks. I'm from Reddit. Ah. <laughs> Oh, the layout's different? Boom. There, I got the blue one, whatever that is. Oh, it was a milkshake. Rise! I should have waited for a yeah slow mo. Oh hi. Oh god, I love it. It keeps giving me rocket launchers, I'll take it. Bonk. Oh, I just- I had to wait for him to be in this phase to kill him. <laughs> but, oh! Yeah, the lava at the bottom floor of an elevator. Well, we are at the 330th basement level- OH, HE DID THE THUMBS UP! <laughs> of course he did! Oh, thank you. That's the correct thing to do. Hi, Carbon. Take care of security. Grab on. Oh, good, Shy, because you, you, otherwise you would have missed the thumbs up. Um. But they're so low, obviously that's actually the, um. Mantle. Dr. Sigurd, mm. the... a pleasure to finally meet you. Oh, okay. I wonder who Dr. Sigurd is. It is a secret. It is a secret. No. It turns out, and 
it's going to be very excited when he's like uh, uh, when she shows up and she's like and I introduce to you Dr. Sigurd and it's just some old guy that is nobody. Yeah, it's nobody. They've been hiding his existence. It's, it's just nobody. <laughs> it's just like, 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 oh, like yeah, a... hi. Oh, hello, yes, it is I, Dr. Sigurd. An overtactile Omega. And then a giant mechanism off of a nuclear uh, device falls on top of him and he dies and that's just the end. By the way, I'm pretty sure that there are 12 chapters in this game. Maybe 14? Means next stream will probably finish. These. Yeah. Ready. Main chapters, I mean. Cause not not counting the side ones. The, the, the like that's numbered chapters, so it doesn't count the side Sean chapters or the alternate uh, like bonus ones. Overall it's a longer, bigger game, since every chapter is also bigger than the original game. So I did look up, I just like I wanna know how many. I think it was either twelve or fourteen. And this was all that they could get. Oops, wrong button. It's gonna be E-God from Luigi's Mansion. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you have a lot. Oh, did I not? I guess I didn't buy this yet. Oh, I didn't buy it to remind myself I should buy it and equip it. Of course. I think, or maybe I bought it and it didn't save. Hmm, all, all of them, all of them, all of them. And you got all the... Whatever cats. Mm-hmm. I always forget its name. Then I say it Torture wrong. cats. Yeah, but no, the one that you have, specifically. Oh, I don't remember. The shirt. <clears throat> oh, yeah, and I did get a couple steak. more. Cat? Oh, yeah, it is steak. Oh yeah, steak. Uh. Oh. oh yeah, I got this. Big pillow. And this. Just from the age of levels. <clears throat> I don't think they got on the street. Even though they were got on the stream. Oh, it's a viola level. A viola level. new equipment for Bayonetta, probably, is what that means. Steak Cat, Bleed Cat, Bleed Cat, which one oh, are Oh, Bleed Cat Green. Bleed Cat Green. Yeah! And we've got a few of these we didn't read yet, because they're from the last screen. Let me just get through those real quick, as long as we're here. Torture Cats. <clears throat> Torture Cats! Zero Stratus, the heavy tandem combat unit. Their special skill is Judgment Thunder. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> As usual, an unusual massive homunculus type designed by Singularity with the intent to replicate gods worshipped by ancient civilizations. Why? For fun. Oh. Its appearance as a... F Look, when you're taking over multi-universes, like, sometimes you just gotta have a little fun with it. Sometimes you need to take a I little... I feel like the last thing you do is have a little fun with anything. Well... That's why you're not taking over. If you're somebody life. who's like, no, my universe is actually the only true one in the multiverse, <laughs> then you're a loser. 
Like you're a boring loser who never has fun. Well, I don't see you destroying any multiverses. Uh, exactly, because I'm not a boring loser. Yeah. Its appearance is a far cry from any naturally occurring life form, with a lizard-like torso and humanoid upper body, and one of its arms in, and one of its arms is a tentacle that ends in something resembling a dragon's head. <laughs> Created along with Cirro Cumulus, its basic capabilities are the same, but it also has the ability to deliver powerful electric attacks. Judgment Thunder, mimicking the divine judgment spoken of long ago. Oh yes, Cirro Cumulus. Special skill, Judgment Hurricane. Yeah! Like Cirro Stratus, Cirro Cumulus is also a massive homunculus type, designed by Singularity, with the intent to replicate God's worship by ancient civilizations. Is this the, wind, the, the big wind guy and the big thunder guy? Yeah. While sharing basic properties with Cirro Stratus, this homunculus is equipped with a complementary ability to generate an attack with extreme winds, bringing the divine retribution feared by ancients. And... I want to play... I want to play Wind Waker again soon. No, no okay. reason. Zero Cumulus and Zero Stratus are designed to operate an attack in tandem, and the structure shaped like a giant set of scales that they use as a combat arena is thought to be inspired by the That's Egyptian Book bound. of the Dead. Hmm? That's how they're bound. Yeah. By scale. <laughs> I wish. You, this universe, let's do a goofy one. Exactly, Turtle. You know? There's a lot of universes. One of them is Density probably... ten tons per meter. That's right. Yeah. That it is, it's, it's a dense boy. It's a, it's a dense boy. It's thick. Mm-hmm. And I was right. It is, it is the scales that you're weighed on. That's right. Yeah. Stratocumulus. Special skill. Totem Batch. Yeah, of course. <clears throat> the Giga Cryptid Decisive Unit. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Rawr. This colossal Me too. <laughs> This colossal homunculus type was created after the completion of Cirro Cumulus and Cirro Stratus as an advancement of Singularity's concept of re replicating divinity and with the application of ideas he found in ancient texts. God, he's so annoying. He's such a loser that the only thing he can do is like, no, there's only one universe and there's only... And there's only Judeo Christian history. Me, 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 me. Unlike the majority You're a big of. Big fucking baby! I mean, it's. It's not Judeo Christian. Oh, you're right, I'm sorry. Yeah. That's right, because the angels are. They, he doesn't want the angels. No, he's specifically not. It's it's all. He's other, making his own shit. It's been all local mythologies. I'm sure they, this is based on a more specific thing than I oh, can for, name, Yeah, but. probably. I don't uh, know. Obviously, obviously it's Totem Batch. Oh, of course. But yeah, like the last one was Son Goku. Um, uh, Crabon, I don't know, but don't if it, if there is no spoilies. Oh, that's the first game. Oh, you're that one. Of, yeah. Uh, you're thinking of um, just Tito? No, I forgot. But the the first big boss. Um, in Bayo 1, which shows up in th this game and in 2 also. Yeah. Or, like, other versions of it. Yeah. Unlike the majority of other homunculi, which are modeled after existing life forms, and with an emphasis on functionality, Stratocumulus is designed almost entirely around Singularity's design sensibilities and image of what a malevolent god should be. Dragon with baby heads is just... is just Dragapult. The last one was Toriyama Christian. <laughs> <clears throat> Stratocumulus' design specs include both the Cirrostratus and Cirrocumulus cores, and their fusion and absorption of an <laughs> Archie's energy are the key to its activation. <laughs> Thank you, Tuttle! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just find that very, find it very funny. Um, it also has energy cores in its head and abdomen that would at first appear to be vulnerable, but it can shield one of the cores with a powerful barrier, adapting to attacks as needed. And no. leave the other one vulnerable, is what you're saying. Oh. Yes. No. Never. Bayonetta B3. The Cloistered Witch. Birthplace Al Haram. Special skill, national rule! <laughs> so I mean, wasn't her last skill, like, generaling or something? Yeah, pretty much. Being a general? Special skill, military. Military science. science. Of course. 
The Bayonetta counterpart. The Bayonetta is, just, is in charge of a nation. That's her power. Yes. <laughs> this The Bayonetta counterpart encountered on the third parallel world Bayonetta visits, who is also the ruler of a nation that stretches across an entire desert. Which is a power. Shut up. <laughs> My special skill is that I'm a queen. <laughs> Although she receives instruction on the magic arts from her retainer, Jean, her somewhat timid demeanor prevents her from mastering them completely. And while she is a bayonetta counterpart, she alone suffers from an apprehension that keeps her from being worthy of the Archie mantle. Although she is a kind witch who is averse to conflict, with the fate of the world hanging in the balance, her resolve to finally become a warrior and unlock the limitless potential hidden inside that become the key to saving existence. The Unwavering Witch. Special skill, royal education. <laughs> God. An umbra witch Bayonetta encountered on the third parallel world she, invis she visits, who serves as a retainer to the princess Bayonetta. Possessed of incredible magic power, she excels at summoning and manipulates the infernal demon ball at will. As Bayonetta is... Hmm? she has a fucking microphone. Well, so do we. Well, I know we do now, but like... Mm -hmm. like She's got a skull it's microphone. It's gotta say it somewhere. <clears throat> A skull microphone that also has, I think, a spear that comes... Yeah, it's is also Is that a what royal education is? Yeah. Okay. Just checking. Yeah. How are you supposed to educate without a huge skull microphone that turns into a spear? Is it... Okay, is... Is, is her That's power... why our nation's schools are so bad, is, is we can't fund our teachers to get skull microphones. Is her special skill that she can provide royal education or that she has a royal education? Provide. Are you sure? Yeah, because she... I, I mean, I know, I understand that she's the, okay. I feel like both of it would be a, a superpower, is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. As Bayonetta's instructor in both magic and combat, she is hard on her pupil, but their relationship has grown beyond that of servant and master. Mm. And they are more like sisters bound by a strong bond of trust that leads Jean to face the encroaching danger facing the world in Bayonetta's stead, going off to face this new enemy alone. Her noble spirit and strong mind make her the archive of her world, but she knows the true power that lies within the bayonetta, within the bayonetta, and yearns from the bottom of her heart for the princess to take her place as the true Arch Eve. And this is just going to be some items. Oh, well, it's this. A pair of fans that were crafted solely from the feathers of fledglings of the infernal demon Malphus. Lighter than paper, yet more durable than steel, the fans are used to slash enemies with twin arcs of feathers. Hi, Malphus. They are capable of delivering powerful attacks on par with direct attacks from Malphus' own wings. <gasps> when these weapons are used in tandem with Demon Masquerade, the user merges with Malphus' sprouting wings and becoming capable of flight. R Rabbit Libido BZ55. Uh huh. Oh my god, it's got stiletto it's heels! Ribbit, ribbit Libido. Oh, you're right, it's Ribbit Libido. Which makes more sense. I said Rabbit, didn't I? You did. It's got, it's got stiletto heels as the, the mic stand. It should. Of course it does. Ball's microphone of choice when performing has continuously absorbed magic over centuries of use and has taken on a number of properties quite useful for combat, such as converting voices into destructive sound waves and boosting the performer's strength and durability depending on how they sing. That's just Jen's superpower. <laughs> Ball is truly amazing. Outrageous. Oh no, Ball's amazing. Oh. It was, I like halfway did that joke in my head, it worked better. Um... Light but yet sturdy, the stand also doubles as a surprisingly powerful spear and can be used to deliver blows and piercing attacks. All the power of my stand! <laughs> when this, when this <laughs> weapon is used in tandem with Demon Masquerade, the user channels Ball's power and gains not only the most beautiful voice in Inferno, but also the unbridled destructive power it contains. Time was in the 80s teacher could have students make the microphones. Thank you, Chai, but you can't anymore. And even, <laughs> even some of our better schools, the teachers have, like, microphones, but they, like, fold out into, like, I don't know, just like a sword or something. Like, it's not a cool spear. Maid says the like, Gear Sluts forum people say that Mike sucks compared to the slow <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Chai. It's, it's insane. Oh, there's more items, like... The Infernal Communicator? Oh, this is what I got for one of the side missions I just did. <laughs> they, they changed it to Gearspace to be more inclusive? What Were they like, well, okay, I feel like we're not getting a good enough himbo crowd. <laughs> just getting sluts. So. 
Uh, so yeah, this is the new accessory I just unlocked. A device used to communicate with Inferno and summon the infamous band of demon youth known as the Little Devils. Oh, Where... those little devils. The wearer uses, which is a reference, Little Devils is a reference to the original Devil May Cry development team, which was called Team Little Devils. Hey, yeah! Yeah. Which is why the original Bayonetta development team was called Team Little Angels. Um, oh! I, which I don't remember if they still are as of Bayo 3. I think they might just be called Platinum. But no, the, they, they came up. Did you, they? Okay. You, you, they came up during the opening yeah. credits, and you were like, there they are! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anyways, the wearer uses this device to temporarily contact them, calling upon their power to attack one's foes. Um, it lets me sign. Oh, cute little guy. Try that one out. Ooh. And cute. Oh, super mirror. Yep. Oh, these things. Oh no, not that one. Poison toad cushion. Oh yeah, Ro this does reveal Rodon made the cushion. <laughs> he, he learned how to make it from the locals in that area, but he made himself. Ceremonial mask. Based on the face of a god worshipped in certain desert locations, the back is covered with strips of paper written in the local language. Good to know. And this is the tutorials, so I'll just clear those to get the red dot to go away, because I hate... I need to clear red dots. Or any kind of notification dot. Devils tackle enemies when you attack. Oh, cool, they're like a custom combo now, rather than... And Viola can do it too, of course. Oh, I did get a few more of Echoes of Memory when I went back through the levels. Including this one, which I think I didn't get before. Wait, no. Maybe I, yeah, I read this one. No, I didn't read this one. The Out of Between One. You can see several images. You see several small boats floating around an outcrop of rock protruding from the ocean. A lone man standing at the head of the lead craft raises his voice, speaking to the rest with great excitement. Even with the power of the all seeing eyes, all we could glean was bits of the knowledge of this location. But now we have finally done it. We have gathered shards these many years and pieced them together, leading us to this very place, and I can tell you without hesitation that what we seek lies in the skies far above where I now stand. Now, my friends, let us begin. With our own hands, let us build the summit that will reach these very skies so that we may achieve our long-awaited goal. The crowd react to the man's speech, raising their fists in a spirited cheer. Just as the ardor of those reacting to the man's exhortation begins to reach you, the images fade from your mind. Sacred Bonds. Oh yeah, I found this one. In the midst of a spacious and lavishly ornamented chamber, a woman is reclining in a long chair, but is visibly agitated. Her fist is balled tight against her chest as she frequently looks toward the entrance. She's been acting so strange lately. It's almost as if she's avoiding me. And today, she seems to have gone off somewhere, showing no sign of returning, without telling me where she was going, of course. Although she was always attended to my needs, we were raised together since we were children, Always side by side like sisters. Never felt so separated from her in both body and soul. Does she have grown wary of me? Is it because I'm still having trouble with my training? Or because I have yet to contract even one infernal demon? I just don't know. I can think of far too many reasons. It's no use simply sitting here wondering. She told me not to follow, but I know I'll regret it if I don't do something right away. I can feel it. I'm afraid I can't keep my promise. Forgive me, Sean. The woman stands as if coming to a decision and runs from the room with assuredness. As you feel your heartbeat quicken with the determination to make a change, the images fade from your mind. So that's why Bayonetta chased after Jean, that Bayo. Oh wait, there is one more little thing. All right. Oh, more than one more little thing. The Phantom! Oh right, cause Super Phantom. The Phantom. Special skill, exploding and reforming. Phantasmarane's ultimate form. Moranes, I still don't know. Unleashed by Bayonetta's deadly sin ritual, now with an out-of-control internal reactor that continuously creates magma at a temperature of one... at a temperature of a trillion degrees. The flames that cloak its body and the sheer heat from the magma are powerful enough to vaporize nearly anything in the vicinity. In this state, Phantasmarene itself has no way to cool down and must simply fight until time runs out and it explodes into nothingness. 
burning body. Uh, looks like it's on fire all the time. Is that normal for it, or...? Essence spike. Is that a horn? Or a spike? Oh, it looks like every demon has one. Herp. God. Insane about the gear space. Sorry, I just read the rest of that. Special skill, palatial nesting. Because they're in a cool temple, I guess. The ruler of dark, the harbinger of finality, Malphus. The ruler of dark skies with wings large enough to block out the sun and covered in iron scales. Ever curious, Malphus continuously observes not only Inferno, but the human world as well, and has filled itself with all their knowledge and mysteries. It also likes to preen and decorates itself with gems and jewelry in the manner of human nobility. However, the same curiosity has another, as as another facet of stark cruelty, and the bird immediately tears those it encounters to shreds with its sharp beak and razor-like talons. It's just a cool fashion bird. Bunch of eyes. That's a lot of eyes! I can't! Not looking at those! Eh. Talons. Ready to rip and tear! Yay. Looks like we won't be shaking hands anytime soon. These wings use magic to whip up major wind that can blow anything away. And it's got three tails, but are those snake heads on two of them? Creepy! Oh, I thought I read balls. Special skill, decisive chorus. These legs are actually pretty toned. She's got hops, too. <laughs> a member of the royal family that rose over a certain region of Inferno. Preferring not to be seen, she conceals herself under most circumstances, but she sometimes enters into contracts with witches of sufficient ability and answers their summons. Contrary to her enormous toad-like appearance, Ball is quite light on her feet and his extraordinary jumping ability. She's also one of the most accomplished singers in Inferno and stirs not only the soul of those who hear her voice, but even the skies themselves. And is able to manipulate air pressure to cause poison rain to fall and hurt those who would oppose her. So if you make air a certain amount of pressure, it turns to poison? I love when they try and do science <laughs> in these. She also possesses an endlessly extending and sticky tongue that can snare distant opponents and swallow them in it. Or that's hot. We all know that's hot. You don't need to go into detail. God. Oh, I wanted to equip. A diff... Accessory. Oh, this... One. There we go. Devils! There they are! The hardest thing to unlock in Bayo 1 is playing as a large version of one of these. I've never done it. Um... I figure what you need to do to make it happen. But it does, it moves very fast and does a lot of damage, but dies in, you die in one hit. If I recall correctly. Anyways, to the game! Thank you for bearing with me while I read a bunch of stuff. Like this thing that I'll probably read in a moment. Oops. Oh. The roof of this place is here. I'm saying it out loud so I remember when I find the key later. Oh, do I just... Ah! Wait, where's the platform? Okay, yep, okay, perfect. That's exactly how I was supposed to do it. What? Huh? No! I entered into the fight and then undid my thing. That's... annoying. <laughs> Alright, I need to block. Yeah. Chai says, don't. What does Chai say? 
owned. Oh. <laughs> That's if you did you repeat, you could have guessed. <laughs> I could have, if I'd really thought about it. No devils! Oh, it hit behind me and did it. I didn't know that was a thing. Okay, fine. Oh, you block, right. I block too. As long as I'm here instead of up there. No, I want to enter. Thank you. <laughs> Limited time, which time damage only. Got it. So basically I need to do parries. Oh, are you a new type of enemy? That seems like you might be. Very rude. I should probably just use Cheshire if I get a good pair. Probably? Ah! Oof. Well, how did I take three damage off two hits? I'll try this one once more. Talon. I think I must have gotten hit through Talon. Talon. Oh, it staggered me. Ow. I... I did the wrong input. Forward plus tapping block twice will make you charge at someone with an attack. I will come back to do this one. <laughs> I feel like I spent a lot of time on the stream just doing challenges that are parry and then do something. I also feel like the fact that it says you just need to enable witch time tells me there's probably another way to do it that I can do later. Maybe an accessory or something. Also, I can no longer uh, grapple hook. It's replaced with the, the glide. Which is interesting to me. Unless there's a way to do it, I don't understand. But... The input that used to get me grapple hook now flies. Kind of a shame. I like the crap.
Climbing is, is also good, though. Yeah, the new enemies, it seems, it seems like another powerful, but like, mid-tier one. Oh, ah, oh god, too much jump. Too much speed and jump. When Viola, Viola, because of her, like, dashing, when she jumps while dashing, she's just kind of... While dashing. While dashy. When she jumps while dashy, she's just kind of very fast. Sort of hard to control in a way. I mean, you can just stop running before you jump. You don't want that. But Bayonetta can't really do the same, although Bayonetta has a million ways to charge at somebody, so... And I don't need to run. Let's do this. <laughs> but yeah, also, that new enemy is like a quick multi-hit kind of enemy, which probably doesn't do very much damage, mostly. I would guess. But because in um, challenges, you know, there's... It's how many times you get hit rather than how much damage you take. You're probably particularly brutal there. God, I love the little moon symbol that goes beneath you when you're jumping in Bayonetta. Because, yeah, I do want to know where I'm going to land really clearly in a, th in a game where I'm jumping around and stuff. That's correct. Thank you for recognizing that. You're welcome. Oh, it's you? I should have known. No! Okay, one more thing to do in this area. It's over here, I saw it. Yes. Open this door. I don't remember if I showed that on stream, but I figured out that's how you open those doors. And also what you use those keys for. Obviously, that's, that's a keyhole on that door, clearly. Oosh. Oh wait, let me just... Grab this. Let me check these out. Oh. Well. I didn't check out the bottom floor of this middle one. But... Oh, wait. I thought this bottom floor is blocked off. I... Oh, because it's floating. I see, and I understand it. Oh, bird. How do I get the bird? Yeah. Oh! I guess I can't grab that right off the bat. But it goes that way, and then there's a little pickup over there, too, I'll grab in a moment. Gotta beat the bird to where it's going, mostly. Oh! I beat it by too much! Oh no! There we go. I did get a couple of journals. Good race, but I beat you. Let's see. Key to success. Ah. A man holding his head in consternation, with four weapons laid out before him. The man takes one of the oddly shaped weapons in hand and begins to moan. Oh damn, I've done it again. What can I do with this sword? I've done it again. I just forged it into the shape that came into my mind. I don't think this will make a very good weapon. And somehow I just kept going and made four of them. Now that's not right. At first I was sure this was the right shape, but on second thought, something's definitely not right. Ah, there's no point in making excuses that people aren't even here. No time for that. This is a big problem. No matter how much I was told to just follow my heart, if I end up wasting materials, the master will never let me hear the end of it. Mm -hmm. What if he kicks me out or executes me. Uh -huh. I don't know a lot about weapon forging, but I don't think one of the rules is, just follow your heart. <laughs> just, you know, really 
to get in there and muck around a bit. Somebody See what happens. Somebody hasn't done the levels 50, 60, and 70 uh, blacksmith quests in Final Fantasy XIV. That's correct, I haven't. Because I'm still on the free trial. Okay, now it's time to think of an excuse. A really good excuse. Think, think, think. No. I've got it. This shape with all these edges. This is a key. A key meant to present something very important. Not a sword, a key. Now that that's been decided, next is the lock. If I use that barrier magic I just yearned, I should be able to come up with something. Something for this key. Man starts to yell and hastily unroll a sheet of parchment, beginning the spell to create a barrier for use in the lock. As barrier spells start to whirl around your head, the images all fade from your mind. This is retconning not just the keys in this game, but the keys in the previous games. It was just this one guy who made a bunch of shitty swords and was like, uh, it's intentional. <laughs> it's just like, and only the biggest idiot would ever make a game with this as a sword. <laughs> Only the biggest fucking numb-minded idiots. <laughs> I really like that they're like, that this is presumably why there's just been giant keys in all of the games. The sealed golem. As you take the weathered parchment in your hand, it reacts to magic power and faded words become legible once more. The avatar of disaster has come from the realm of the gods. For three days and nights it has raged, finally stopped by the combined might of the Umbra and Lumen. However, due to its terrible might, we were unable to destroy it. To prevent it from awakening again, its core is removed and sealed away within the depths of the island, where no one may enter. A portion of the metal surrounding its core was retrieved and given to scholars, with the remainder melted down and fashioned into a medallion. That medallion was then broken into four pieces, and the pieces then left in the care of four of our most powerful, so that the medallion would never be made whole again. Let us pray that our island may now see an everlasting peace. Ah! I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put them down and back together. <laughs> the words then begin to fade again, ultimately disappearing. Is this talking about the little golem guys? Were they all made from some giant golem? Oh, uh, friends. Friends. That is an interesting idea. They're just like yeah, all these little because the golems were already explained. Oh, I said. Bowie thing over there. Hello. What's that light? It's strange. I feel like it's calling me. <gasps> oh, I can break this now. Because I have my power awakened. Yeah, I can't do anything to break that if I don't use treasure. Oops, I threw it the wrong way. Go, oh, treasure. You can do it. Yeah, bud. <laughs> like, I guess this is what I do? I got hit in that one. Lie. It was a lie. I was paying attention. Well, that's true. I thought I couldn't do that unless I hit it while it was blocking. I didn't realize it could just do a big explosion from its shield regardless. Which means I guess I should move? Yeah. Rude, because it means I can't charge it with attack. Oh, 
take C. An extremely hard fight for uh, Vila. No, it still hits me even from that. But I guess it's not that hard if I just do this. It's just really lame. Thank you, Turtle. I know you're always... You can always have my back. That's distressingly untrue. Yeah, I know, it's super nice. Um, 6.13. That's a time. In, I don't know what where you want. Come back, <laughs> that is a time. Also, if you want a t if you want just one time where you didn't have Frank's bag, uh, that, that's hard to narrow down because of how much you argue with everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad, I gave you the answer, and I'm technically correct! Yep! Ow. Jeez! I was throwing Cheshire. Which I, I think I can't block while I am throwing Cheshire. I think I can't do anything, actually. Kind of like how Bayonetta can't um, do anything while she's like controlling the demons, but for a much shorter time, it's just while you're throwing. Oops, wrong way. It's really hard to deal with the armor, honestly. Ow! Oops. That's on me. I didn't see it. Dang, this is somehow the hardest fight I've had in this game. <laughs> Which makes me feel like I'm missing something. You got it. Maybe I'm just worse with heal? That's like... Shit! Jeez! There's entirely- I, I never really felt like I completely figured out this particular enemy anyway, because like, I only beat it by using the frog thing. 
I don't know if they have another weakness. Oh my god! I, I can't see it charging that because it's like a... It's a thing that appears on the ground, but I'm standing on a shiny thing. I'm surprised I last that long after getting hit by the giant fuck-off laser, though, honestly. getting a feel for when he's actually vulnerable and when he's not. And when I'm vulnerable, crucially. Ah! Oh no, Cheshire, I'm sorry! Ah! I really need to call back- my blocking is a lot worse without the sword, is something I'm realizing. Like, a lot worse. So I need to call Cheshire back. And it can take a while for Cheshire to come back. I need to try and maybe instantly de-summon Cheshire more. That was a bad time to do it. Let's turn around, do things. You got it. You're done. Yeah, Cheshire can stagger the guy, so I should let him do that. Yeah, okay. I managed to fight it without being completely lame. You've just got to hit and run more. Oh. I stepped on stained glass. That's good to do. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Do that. Oh. It's... Gingunga Gap. But it's red. And gross. And falling. That seems bad. I'm sure it's fine. <sighs> Looks like this could go at any minute. I'd better pick up the pace or else. The new guys I spot in the bonus mission. Rawr. Oh, it's you. I thought it was. No, I don't hit you with pressure. Ow. This! I can do this now! Oh, that counts as hitting them to break them apart, maybe? Shh, 
tried to do both. been led astray by- uh oh, I guess I should have actually followed it. <laughs> oh, but that looks like a secret. It is a secret. Sorry, glowing ball of light. I'll be right back. But there's like a collectible. You know how it is. I mean, a glowing ball of light is basically a collectible already, so you must- you must get it. knows cloud clouds please tell me got a cloud expert here right only someone had done extensive work with the cloud <laughs> perhaps work at a company named after them or something oh well really hard to parry that. Oh, maybe it's not. I was like, I can't tell exactly when it's going to hit me. It's really important. It lets me run at it while blocking. I completely forgot. Might be too late to make use of that, but... Yeah. I still do not quite have the hang and feel that. I never quite know when to charge, and I feel like I'm always doing really weak damage, because she's got a handful of attacks that do a lot of damage. She is supposed to be weak. Admittedly. I feel like I never get a chance to actually- because I can't use dodge offset, well, because she doesn't dodge very much. It's really hard for me to like, get to the end and feel these chains. I think that's a big part of what's throwing me off. Because I'm just used to using dodge offset to get to the end of things, and I want to do it with Yola, but I can't. Although she can dodge offset, but her dodge is bad. Oh, I did a parry from- I did a Cheshire parry. Bring it in, 
I want to watch someone like really good at this game play Viola and see what they do. It's you. Um, yeah. And I won't do that till I beat the game. Anymore. No one else has done it yet. <laughs> Everybody else is like, ugh, this is what we get after seven years. Ah! I should have actually followed it. I forgot. Save me, glowy light. Nope. Don't eat it. I want to eat the glow. Don't eat the glowy! I'm gonna eat the glow. No! It's a morally neutral action. No, it's not! It's the opposite of that, in fact. The opposite of neutral is still neutral. No, it's <laughs> impactful. <laughs> oh, I, t I didn't fall. So there. Oh. Mysterious woods? Secret? We haven't been to Europe yet, I suppose. <laughs> Although that's where we did the Europe. last two games. Sort of. Woman, hail you from the same sphere as that beast man? Luca? Luca. So he <laughs> Lucon! Fucking. This place? Elronded World of Warcraft looking motherfucker. <laughs> he no longer tarries here. That beast man is surely my else fellow. <laughs> my else fellow! Oh my god! We were drawn together across I... the world walls to find each other. Uh, of course! And other kin. Drawn together? Then what oh, that show doing? sucked. It appears as though you also share a bond most deep with us. A bond of blood, perhaps? Brother and sister? Or something more? Oh, he's just flirting like he always does. <laughs> you, <laughs> you can I walk. You. Yes, you don't. Wait, so all the Lucas are hearing a voice? Because our Luca was also hearing a yeah. voice. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, you're up it is. You're up. Paris, 16th. I've never known how to pronounce that word. Arrondissement? Arrondissement. That's it. That makes sense. Oh. Ne oh, it's man, that the is. The apartments of Paris spiral outward. That is very, very low resolution compared to everything else in this game. That's weird. Well, it, I mean, they're in France. Oh, that's right. This Feels is actually low. the best. This is actually the best fidelity that France can offer. Sidre. That's how you pronounce it. This is them all. This is their best attempt at uh, graphic design and animation. That makes sense. Oh my god! They've just got like five scooters. Yeah. Bonk. Bonk. Not in my town. Seed. Or cider. Um, it cider? was C I D R E. I'm pretty sure it is cider. again low enough resolution. I believe these are meant to be displayed here. Cider. Cidre. No, I sh I shouldn't. Cidre. It, it shouldn't. No, no, no. Cidre. You're not. So okay, that's cidre. really Cidre. Really cidre. Wrong. You're not so. You, you have to pronounce it with a full. You like, can't cidre. actually pronounce. So shut up for a second, please. I no. Uh, <laughs> Never. 
I... <laughs> <laughs> oh! There's a high quality one. Nave... I actually... F-R-A-G-E. You're really not supposed to... Oh, to you. ...emphasize the last two letters much at all. Okay. Unless you're saying it with other words, so if I'm saying it alone, I shouldn't. I should. I was only landing on the dr hard enough because I needed it to be apparent. That's I don't. American, okay, I'm, though. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> Can you read this one? Yeah. Uh. Alfraj. And Alfraj. Oh, ten V. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of words there. Sure is. Menas. Yeah, I mean, I think the menace emerges from the ocean. Yeah, that's right. That's a different thing. Oops. Yeah. It appears to be an ad for a musical, says Chai. Yeah, may don't say that, because Chai is here, and Chai judges everybody's everything foreign language-wise, in any foreign language, and I'm already super self-conscious about saying anything at all. Oh, Angel Fight. Fight. That was... <laughs> I tried to parry it, because I'm like, oh, it's a big, slow attack. Harry. No, I didn't even block it. I, I have you on recording correcting people. Oops. the verse right at the start. I didn't even know this. It's the verse, same as the first. <laughs> I'll just ban it out. I was like... Hmm? I do have a few moves I haven't bought for Viola. Right! I do this, and I have this. And this one I always forget, and that one's really important, I think. I remember that one. Oh! I should really be doing that. Wing? Can I do this? There. Probably should have done that earlier. I can't dodge offset with block right now. Oh, that's exactly a thing I want. I really should have bought these sooner. Windmill Pete! Windmill, it's all Windmill Pete! Okay, I just bought a few moves, let's see. Chomp. And when I'm barehanded, that's 
Just a big, big punch. Oh, it shoots to projectile. What? I think that's another. Who is, is that? That might be Sakura's Hadoken. Actually, specifically. They have very subtle animation differences, and people like to reference the specific animation differences. <laughs> whoosh, whoosh. Ooh, that's very good. God, I should be using this. I'm a fool. Oops. No, wait, not that one. <laughs> hey, wait. You're up. Over here. No, I'm and when so. you got it. When my sword's out, I do this. Okay. Yeah, I can remember that. Come back, Chesh. Just... Oh, it's like a really shitty version of Bayonetta's heel slide when the sword is... My forward forward kick when I'm... when I'm barehanded. That's fun. Okay. There, I've got a fuller moveset. A full moveset? Oh. I almost did not see that box. It just kind of blended into me. Get him! Bring it in, big guy. Time to shine. I don't. Oh, I don't know what my objective is here. Oh, there's a box over there. I see it. And now there's one of these. Go all the way around, I guess. Wait, and then there's one super high up somehow. Oh, I just have to jump for it. Faster. Got it! Perfect. Exactly how you're supposed to. I heard a kitty. Where's the kitty? There's Kitty. Oh. There's me. No, never mind. I thought the cat jumped into it. Kitty go. Where did the kitty go? I totally didn't see it. It's gone now. Apparently. It's a bummer. No more kitty. Just wanted to pet the kitty. No more kitty. There's kitty. I missed it. Jump down there and. Oh, does it go through the gate? Oh. I see. It go from side to side, it go under the gate. 
So I have to beat it to the other side. Hi there! Hi there! Kitty! That's cute. water and back over right back. for heave. Have a great night. Oops, I knocked my phone over. Stay up. You can do it. There you go, phone. Uh, okay, obviously... Treasures... Miniature Arch. Miniature Arc de Triumph. Arc the Triumph. <laughs> what? It's the Arc the Triumph. What's the problem? Nothing. <laughs> okay, so I can go there, or I can go here, and I'm assuming here... ...is the side path that has a secret. Well, more than one. Limited time, which time disabled? Bayonetta's my partner. Yeah, we know. <laughs> I do like that it'll tell me the waves there. So I don't end up in that obnoxious situation where you're like, yeah, I did it! Oh wait, there's another wave of even harder enemies. Never mind. I wish I hadn't tried repeatedly to beat it in the first place. Oops, fucked up. Killed it. I was like, kill it with the charged V shot. I did. I just had to wait for them to explode. You got it! Bring it in, big guy! 
Wait, can I instantly do? Come back, trash! Oh, right. I can toss the sword to the ground when I can't summon trash. That's fun. Frog. 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 Froggy. Oh. Here, all three animals. All three animals. Nice of it. Oh, hi. Oh, three of them. Oh, you have so much armor. I thought I was stunning you, but I wasn't. I wasn't stunning at all. Three small golems. That's kind of just find a secret bewitchment, but okay. I guess not all the bewitchments can be cool. Mostly they're cool. Wait. Oh! I thought I could maybe break in, not just destroy the entire store. But hey, there you go. Ooh. Ever left. Although a fairly common souvenir, this version procured by Rodan has a secret compartment. Oh, that's it. That's yeah, all you get to know. But they probably I bet Rodan didn't tell Viola about it, so she doesn't know. <laughs> it's a secret component. <laughs> that would be my guess. It's this thing. Opicus. Special skill. Stick. Pressure. Hi, Sabbat. Oh, my chat cleared because I went to Obviously, the you uh, aren't celebrating anything because if you were celebrating, you would have been here exactly. for the most celebratory event of the season. Bayonetta. Yeah. A variant of the tuba type homunculus adjusted to operate above ground to be more aggressive. Me too. Shunning covert <laughs> attacks. <laughs> I've also been adjusted to operate above ground and be more aggressive. Shunning covert attacks for frontal assaults, it moves nimbly above ground using charging attacks and even jumping dive attacks, zeroing in on enemies with a varied fighting style. Cool. This is what I actually came for. The Wandering Soul. As your fingers make contact, a viscous, baleful emotion feeling... Baleful emotion feeling... Pushes itself into the depths of your mind. Mm -hmm. All you can see is darkness. A vast, all-encompassing darkness. Darkness. What? Where is this? Where? Why did you say that name? Why did you say that name? Where is it? The truth. I'm Batman. Oops, I hit the wrong button. All you can see is darkness. A deep, jet-black darkness that threatens to pull you in. You must not touch this Dark anymore. Darkness. Your instincts scream at you to release it, and you do. Immediately, the darkness disappears, and your mind regains clarity. Oh, well, that's nice. Cool. Good, good to know. Cool. Ba ba bum. That's my phone telling me it's almost out of batteries. Ba ba bum. <laughs> Giant tank. You touching that? Not all of us are as adventurous with our drug trips as you, Chuck. Oh, there's the cool bottoms of your shoes, like the footprint thing. Yeah.
Where we'll fight the third, well, second time for Viola. Whoa, it just knocks the cards over, that's fun. Okay, we're in another dimension. Jeez. Much harder than the last ones. Bonk. Oh yeah, we're on the arc. Yay. to block that one. Jesus did only die for one world. Ah. Oh, I thought you were doing the second attack there. There's no time. It does not give you time to jump in the chest here. Like, no. Ah. Uh, oh, I fought the second one, actually. You can't see when he does that. Ow! 
By which I mean woof! Yes, of course he had butts. <laughs> she got an injury on her head. Bonk. Luca, please stop. I don't want to hurt you. We might be from different worlds, but I know you feel it. It's me. I'm your... Owner. <laughs> oh no. That's the bad mist you're not supposed to go into. Wait. But why would you- why would they go into it? I know! Enchanting and enticing. But I think you can show me more. Thanks, Luca. Well, I'm not gonna start the next level, but I did unlock the side level, so I'll do that one. And maybe next time I finish the game? Is that truly possible? Can I actually- can I actually finish the game? I guess I'll double check and see how many chapters there are. It might not be dual. Rini, can I actually be the hero? Can I? Be the hero? The answer is no. Yeah, I wonder what her relationship with Luca is. That's so true. It's, I mean, in, in so many ways, she's like Nero. It's like, who could her parents be? What is her relationship to the current cast? It's impossible to say. Impossible to say. They really did just fucking copy that part of Nero too, huh? <laughs> I haven't really put that together. Who is V? Who is V? I just don't know. <laughs> like, I hadn't realized how directly Viola is their take on Nero. God. I've just... It's so good that they went back to the Bayonetta 1 thing of, let's take the most recent Devil May Cry and do it better because we think we can. <laughs> like, I just, I really... I really love that. I love that, that was in four. For Bayonetta one, he's just like, I'm just gonna play DMC four. I am. He still, as far as I know, Kamiya still claims he's never played two or three. Um, and he only played four when developing Bayonetta one, which like I don't play. But God, yeah, no, it's really just you know, gosh, who, who could this person be? Are they the child of someone? Maybe, but who? What to say? Anyways, I'll do the side mission. Oh, I didn't even look at the new weapons for Bayo. Because we didn't play as her except in the opening things, and I didn't- that was timed. Shit. We have two new weapons for Bayo that I haven't even used. Ever. I want to do that before we end the stream. But this is probably timed, so I won't be able to. If it's not, I'll do it right now. It's not! Okay, new weapons time. The Samoon and the Rivet Libido. Rivet Libido. Oops. Not so long as I'm at it. Although we know what these can be. <laughs> Fast multi hitting. Oh, you get little talents on your feet. Kind of have Virgil's thing where you can hold the button after an attack and do a little blade thing. <laughs> Bird! 
Oh, you really- oh, you only get two jumps. But yeah, you can just kind of freely glide. Oh, if I charge it up, it becomes bigger. Okay, that makes sense. Can I charge it to like a level three? No. Oh, the shots are just this! Yay! Wish, 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 Let's see what the, uh... Our color doesn't change as much here. It's pretty good. Ooh. These are all pretty good. Chai wants white. I think that's fair. I kind of had done that also with white mm. hair color. I see how it is. Trying to get by, trying to sneak <laughs> it by me. Jerk. Um. I mean, it's just the white and red go together with the little fade leaves. <laughs> so, yellow, blonde. Uh, That's too much, no. Coward. It's it's all yellow. There's no you the, what's the bottom left one? What's the bottom right one? Ooh. Top one. It's actually kind of like this a lot. I yeah don't... what's the right one again? This one? One more. Or this one. How about the yellow hair, also? Fine, give her blue hair. I have the blue hair. Oh, there is no blue hair. Well, right? I guess we just have to do yellow. <laughs> blue. Big baby. Powered. <laughs> she wants, I, I want some contrast. I want to stand out. Oh yeah, I actually went in here to look at the moveset. And then I forgot that I was looking at the new set. Where's the... Yeah. What do orange and yellow look like together out of curiosity? What, this and... The orange hair, yeah. Hmm. Anyway, uh, go back to what it was. I just wanted to see. Your decision was made. It looks like for these... For this weapon, at least, they kind of don't... They don't start you out with almost anything. All oh, right, you can pick them up. And this is all they could do. I'll fool around with this some more later, but... Ten plus different movesets, and that's all they could do! It looks like a pretty short-range weapon that hits rapidly. It's, it's... We haven't had a lot of fast hitters, so... Ooh! Ooh. Oh. I thought I'd be... Whoosh! Wait, can I jump out of those? That's cool. Ooh! I can just jump out of the, the charge. This one looks fun. It does. I'm very into this. It looks kind of basic. Like, it doesn't actually have a lot of gimmick to it or anything. But I guess I don't know what all the alternate moves are. 
I can just, as soon as that happens, I, I can wish, jump out of it. I wish that you could meet an astral chain. <laughs> Other than Lappy. Lappy I'm, is eternal. Then there's this one, which I've been looking forward to. Ugh. Long range, but slow. You'd expect that with the crazy range this thing has. Looks like the kips as pretty much is normal in this game. <laughs> the uh, punches are all very linear forward hits, and the kicks are sweeps. I made. That's. Yeah, that's music! Music word! What? Wait, so if I hold the button, it does that. Oh, wait, I think I remember. I think I did read this. Yeah, those are buffs. If I hold the punch button I and I do that, then I boost my defense. If I hold the kick, I boost my attack, and you can stack them. To, oh, just to increase the duration. Oh, you can see them up beneath my health bar. We will rock you. This is my shot. Oh! Wait! She's just shouting into the microphone. Yeah, it charges your voice. It makes your voice into... Yes. But she still weapon. does cool dodging. Yeah. It's called performing? You can't just... What, you just... What, is she just gonna go up there and just be like, <laughs> Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, I'm not moving at all. Sorry, everybody. Ooh. This is the show you paid for. Brown. This rules. I'm very into this weapon too. God. Listen up. Very cool weapon. Oh yeah. Oh, I didn't even look at. Th oh no, I. I... Oh yeah. Back. Masquerade. Queen of the Devildom is the ultimate attack. I'll fool around with some of this more later, but... This is the, uh, movement form. Wing, 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 bring. Whoosh! And you kind of hover a bit on your way down. Whee! Thank you, turtle! I messed up and hit it again. I didn't have enough magic to do it. Oh, it's sucking my magic power! I didn't know I could do that. I can do that. 
apparently. Oh, I don't have enough. I'll just have to dodge it. And taunt it, of course. Rain. Wow, look at the health. Oh, they're both here. Oh, no, they're not. For a second, I thought there were two again. <gasps> There's a just charge! Yes, there is! It's just like Virgil's. I'll explain what that means in a second. DMC Devil May Cry sequels. That's the sequel series now. We rebranded it. It's Revelations. <laughs> in every in every game they 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 kill one more pregnant woman. God. Okay, so I'll explain this real quick. Uh, Virgil from Devil May Cry. Um, Virgil Devil May Cry. Virgil Devil May Cry. He one of his main abilities is um, judgment uh, cut. God, that's not what it's called. Um, I actually forget now. I think it's judgment cut. Um, where you hold down the button and then you can charge an attack. <laughs> Thank you, mate. <laughs> I think you're right. <laughs> um. You, it's a lot like this. You hold the button down, and then you let go, and you've charged up. And it's like in the middle of your combo, you can just hold it down and let it go, and you'll you'll cut a little hole in dimensions there. And the charge ability for this weapon is a direct reference to that. In a pretty obvious way, um, it, it works exactly the same. Virgil has a special mechanic where if you time the release just as he puts the sword in the sheath, essentially... You can release it immediately, and it happens super fast, and you can go right into your next move, and it's also more powerful. So does Bayo. That is so good to me. I'm very happy about that. Uh, they did it. They did the good thing that I like. They did it. So yeah, now I really like this weapon, because... <laughs> That's a really fun mechanic to master, because when you master you just kind of this is just one outcome, be outputting the judgment cuts all the time. Endless. Um, it just feels really good to nail that timing. Anyways, uh, that's going to be the stream for this night. But... That's going to be the DMC Devil, uh, Re Devil May Cry Revelations stream for mm -hmm. tonight. Let me just actually... I'm never really sure when it saves. It probably just saves constantly like every modern game. But I'm just going to go in here. Also see if there's any new treasures. There wouldn't be, presumably. And uh, thanks for coming, everybody. And maybe next week we finish this. I don't know. I don't want to promise that. I'm actually going to look up how many levels there are again. But... Uh, 
Uh, that's interesting. My OBS is not up on screen. There we go. It, Windows was not showing it open. I was like, that's... I don't know how to stop. Um, there Windows we go. has decided that OBS is forbidden. <laughs> Apparently, like, it just... It wasn't on the taskbar or anything. But I found it. Uh, anyways, okay, now I can stop it. Thanks for coming, everybody.